Radwell Smart Glass Emergency Protocol. Do not take off the smart glasses. Scanning for internal injuries. Please remain as still as possible. No internal bleeding detected. No fractures detected. No open wounds detected. Larynx damage from smoke inhalation detected. Speech will not be possible. Please do not attempt to speak. Movement assessment protocol activated. Please move forward to get up. Thank you. Please look around. Thank you. Please move to the designated point. Thank you. Please move quickly to the designated point. Thank you. Please crouch down and move to the designated point. Please stand up again. Thank you, and apologies for any loss of dignity. Movement assessment complete. Probability of survival high. Please proceed immediately to the main entrance. Main entrance locked down. We apologize for any inconvenience. Attempting to establish network communication with emergency services. Connection failed. Broadcasting emergency distress signal on alternative channels. Please proceed to emergency exit 2 in the north wing stairwell. Scanning radio frequency. We're coming live from the Bradwell Stonehenge Museum, where the situation appears to be escalating. As I speak, we're being pushed farther back by emergency service work. Indeed, tonight's public celebration for Bradwell's Clean Water Initiative milestone has turned into a public crisis. An explosion occurred at 7.45 p.m. Fully evacuated with no major injuries or fatalities. But with so many VIPs in attendance tonight, there is already speculation about terrorist involvement, especially given the Bradwell's history. Almost 11 years ago, three members of the Bradwell family were killed at the British consulate in Belgium in 2015. Responsibility was claimed by the En Masse movement, a left-wing militant group with the stated goal of bringing down 1%. Attempting to access door controls. Please wait. Accessing door controls failed. Door offline. Please proceed to emergency exit 3 in Museum South Wing. to unforeseen circumstances, the museum is now closed. Please continue to your designated exit.
Emergency Exit 3 is directly opposite your current location. Please proceed there immediately. Signal. I'm here to help. Guide detected. Establishing connection. Connection established. Finally! The suspense nearly killed me. You okay? Visitor is unable to answer due to damaged vocal cords from smoke inhalation. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll talk. You listen, and maybe we'll both get out of here alive. I think I found our way out. Just gotta open this. Problem is, the door controls on my side aren't responding. Are yours working? Oh, right. You can't talk with the whole vocal fry thing. Wait! Your guide can take photos. Those can be, like, your voice. Guide established permanent photo connection. Photo connection established. Launching tutorial. It's... it's just pressing a button we don't need... Welcome to the photo tutorial. Your personal Bradwell guide glasses come with an exciting photo mode. Are you kidding me? Capture and share your favorite moments here at the Bradwell Stonehenge Museum. We really don't need a tutorial. Get ready to make memories. Here's how. Press the photo button now to take and share a photo. What a great eye. You are a natural. As long as you are connected to the guide network, your photos will be instantly sent to connected friends and family. Snap and share. Okay, get that great eye on the door controls. Shoot! Your door controls aren't online either. Guide, is there any way to get the power back on? I suggest requesting a member of the museum staff to investigate the relevant distribution board. Great, up to us then. Okay, let's find that board and get the heck out of here before this whole place drops on us. Go look around and send me photos if you find anything or get stuck. Okay, so start flipping switches till the lights turn green. Excellent work. Everything just lit up like a cheap bar on St. Patrick's Day. Hurry back so I can see what's up with the panel. Huh. Yeah, it's doing the same here. Lock panels are unpaired. Emergency access to pairing protocol granted. Pairing is achieved by comparing patterns and identifying the contrasting element. Three rounds must be completed to sync the locks. What is this, a frickin' game show? <sighs> Fine, let's pair the heck out of these things. First pattern, here you go. You have to press the one button that's not lit up in either pattern. Okay, nice. Second pattern coming up. Just one more and we're out of here.
Warning, this is a restricted area of Bradwell Amesbury Research and Development. Security will arrive shortly to escort you to a secure area. Oh, my head. Where am I? Wait. No. Oh, no, no, no! I cannot be back down here. Welcome back, Dr. Randall. A trespasser has been detected in the courtyard area. Proceed with caution. Well, you're alive, that's good, but we really, really have to get out of here right now. Um, there's a... There's a train station in the atrium close to you. Go there and ping me. I'll meet up with you as soon as I can. I crashed into some offices, so gotta find a way down first. Huh? It's sealed off? It's the main way to get in and out! Guide, what gives? All personnel have evacuated the building. Exit and entrance ways have now been sealed. That's it? No other way out? I cannot assess alternative exit points as I'm unable to connect to the building control system. Wonderful! Well, you heard the AI. Looks like it's up to us to look around. Oh, look! The medical evac system is still online. Not that you'd know what that is. It's meant for injured employees, but I think we qualify. We just need to get to medical. Wait, the elevators. Can you see if there's anything on the status of the elevators? I mean, lifts? Are they working? Hmm, lifts are locked. Guide, what does that mean? Standard evacuation procedures dictate that once main evacuation has been completed, lifts are sent to secure positions and taken offline. Lifts can then only be unlocked from the main lift engine room. Okay, judging by the map, that's very close to where I am right now, so I'll check it out. Except you won't be able to use them since you only have a museum guide. Oh, I have an idea! We're going to upgrade you from a trespasser to a bona fide Bradwell Amesbury employee. Kinda. On the map, see induction reception? Head there, then ping me. Oh, cool. You found the induction reception. Good. See the vending machine? It's full of staff guides coded to new hires. We need to unlock one of these so you can take the Bradwell induction experience and become a Bradwell employee. You should then be able to use the elevators. But to make that happen, I need a Bradwell ID for someone who's supposed to start today or tomorrow. So take a look around and send over anything with an ID. Sorry, still nothing we can use. Are there more pages? Sweet. Let me try this ID just one sec. Employee ID confirmed. Dr. Alex Sager, Clean Water and Energy Research. Huh, okay. Unfortunately, not a medical profile, but... Well, it'll have to do for now. Go pick it up! Welcome, Dr. Sager, to Bradwell Amesbury. Today is the first day of our new and exciting future... Together, please wait while we prepare the compulsory Bradwell new employee induction. Okay, I'm gonna go get the elevators out of lockdown. But don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you. So, good luck. And, um, you're gonna be fine. Experience prepared. Dr. Sager, please enter to start your new journey. I hope you like cheese. What you're about to see is... Hello, and welcome to the Bradwell Research and Development's new employee induction. At Bradwell, the difference is you. Pat yourself on the back. You are the best of the very best in your field. Oh, God, it's worse than I remembered. This, the R&D Amesbury, is Bradwell's newest facility. Your work here is classified and vital. Finding solutions to many modern-day issues for both Bradwell Electronics and the Bradwell Foundation. If the world needs it, we can make it happen here. Research and development is headed by Melissa Bradwell, daughter of John Bradwell, founder of Bradwell Electronics. Both father and daughter have worked tirelessly to effect positive change through technology. 
As an engineer here at Bradwell R&D Amesbury, your work will focus on a newly discovered revolutionary material. Bradwellium, more simply known as substance, is the next advancement in material sciences. Programmable matter. Bradwellium has already been fundamental in the development of a game-changing piece of technology. Oh, this is my... The Substance Mobile Printer, a device which allows for the instant fabrication of objects. Yes, matter transfiguration, no longer a thing of science fiction. The SMP uses type of objects from digital blueprints created by engineers like yourself. We've put together a short practical application test to give you first-hand experience with this revolutionary device and its applications. No turning back now. Time to leap into the weird world of material sciences. I'm gonna go unlock these elevators. For real this time. Exit to your right and proceed to the testing area. For the creators of tomorrow, Bradwell presents the Substance Mobile Printer, or SMP for short. This is the latest prototype featuring the Substance Printing technology. Please take the SMP. Let's learn how we reclaim an item made of substance and then print an identical copy into a new place. This is the gateway to your potential, and this is the key of determination. As the first step, please reclaim the key using the SMP. The reclaiming procedure recycles the substance material and stores a digital blueprint of the item in your SMP library. As long as there is enough substance in the SMP, you can print as many copies as you like. In order to print, you need to activate the SMP printing mode. The preview's traffic light color scheme indicates if the SMP is able to print the item or not, or if more substance is required. Now, stay in printing mode, point the SMP to the keyhole in the gate, and move towards it. As you can see, the SMP's advanced algorithms will suggest valid printing positions. Congratulations! You have unlocked the gateway to your potential. Please go to the next section. Welcome to Cats or Dogs. Bradwell's fun and in no way judgmental personality test asks you kindly to print a total of six cats or dogs on the coloured platform areas. We need at least one of each animal printed for our patented bias weighting, so pick and print. Shelly the cat and Troy the dog will do the rest. This is refined Bradwellium, or substance brick, ready to be reclaimed by the SMP. No blueprints from one of these, sadly. For security and copyright reasons, some substance items have their blueprints locked. Your guide interface will let you know if a substance item is locked. The SMP is able to store multiple blueprints. Change the active blueprint with the Change Blueprint button. Your SMP can print onto most flat surfaces. For your well-being, the SMP decides if it is safe to print an object in a given location. Definition of safe is provided by... Great progress! Only three more to print. Well done for completing the Bradwell personality test. Go you. Want to know what's in your mind? Check out the screen nearby for the results of your personality test. Good luck on the next section. Troy gave an encouraging bark and Shelley was, well, you know what cats are like. When you're ready, please go to the next section. Welcome to the Rotation Station, where things often go sideways. For this test, you simply need to recreate the pattern from the right panel. Where is the blueprint, I hear you ask? Bradwell R&D proudly presents the Blueprint Drive for securely stored... Well done. Now recreate the pattern on the wall to complete the test. To rotate the item, press the rotation button. Once you're happy with the rotation, press the print button to print. If you have trouble remembering what to do, maybe... 
Well done. You have near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Feel free to quote that on your favorite dating app. Welcome to the most important part of our induction experience. Bradwell R&D's Lifetime Unilateral Non-Disclosure Agreement. Use your SMP to create the circle of trust. By doing so, you agree to the Bradwell Non-Disclosure Agreement. Once the circle of trust has been established, the door to the path of knowledge and discovery will open itself to you. Warning. Irregularities in the NDA section detected. The use of the SMP is not recommended. Irregularities? Um, that doesn't sound good. If you're stuck, I'm here, just one photo click away. Oh, that's not good. The trust circle's half buried. The system's not gonna let you go ahead without doing that step. What else is around there? I don't understand that picture, sorry. Okay, I have to find a way to override D14 without you doing all the circle stuff. D14, D14, where are you D14? Induction control program, that's what we need. Is this taking a long time? Maybe it just feels that way, but... Oh, here it is. Ta-da! I have near-perfect door-opening skills. Now, does that go in pros or cons on a dating profile? All right, back to these elevators for me. If you need me again for that door, just holler. Welcome to the Archive, where you'll find Bradwell's work and patents over the course of its 60-year history. Please, enjoy. The induction will continue through the next door. Welcome to the penultimate challenge. How do you feel? Sick of your voice. Fantastic! For your next test, we have everyone's childhood favorite. Well done. Now use oh, these traversal remember, blocks you can to rotate cross substance over to objects the other with side. the SM. I mean, Please I'm not trying to, to say you area. forgot. I just Anyway, good luck crossing the lava. Look at you, using the traversal block as intended. Doesn't it feel great? And don't forget, if it doesn't fit, rotate it. Another successful crossing. Marvelous. You are so close. Falling into the lava now will be such a huge disappointment. Troy and Shelley think so too. Lovely job. Well done. You are now safe. Unbelievable. My jokes are better. Bradwell. Every Bradwell employee should know and take pride in Bradwell's history. Your final task is to connect to the past in order to step into the future. Hey, the SMP's rotation functionality could be super useful in this section. You know, just throwing it out there. Everyone knows about Bradwell Electronics, but some applicants who lie about their knowledge of Bradwell products. Not you, right? Fun fact, Bradwell's history is such common knowledge that no search engine bothers storing it.
don't worry if you're stuck, we have all the time in the world. Food supplies, however, are limited. Shelley and Troy believe in you. Oh, for now. If you pretend not to know Bradwell's history, then you can also solve the puzzle by the power of deduction. Well done. Onwards to the final room. Congratulations, Dr. Sager, and welcome to the Bradwell family. You chose dogs over cats. Some might say you're barking mad, but all we know is you're one of us now. You've shown that you have the knowledge, the skills, and most importantly, the loyalty to contribute to Bradwell R&D and help secure the world's future. Now, head to clean water and energy research via the lifts in the security office. Your Bradwell buddy, Dr. Chowdhury, will meet you in her office to complete your induction experience. Please note, Exit door is inaccessible due to unforeseen circumstances. Guess we'll have to find you a detour. The door? No problem. I can do that for you. NDA breach risk. Knowing that exists makes me a little concerned. Hmm, so these are the people they're scouting. Interesting, and certainly something we shouldn't be looking at. If those lives are anything but amazing, then I'll be sad. No spoilers. Okay, sure. Accessing the door controls. Hey, good news! Elevators are up! And they're down! They're working again, is what I'm saying? And, 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 I also found a way for you to get there. There's a vent entrance in the big map room, which should lead you directly back out to the atrium. I feel like I probably shouldn't comment on that, but that spend amount doesn't look great.
I don't think that book's gonna help us. Oh, that, yeah. Kind of like prison, though we aren't supposed to use that comparison. Yeah, that is a big map. Bradwell could have mapped out the exits on there. Would have been nice. Hey, more good news. Got myself some sweet access permissions for water and energy research. We should be all set now. Well, congrats. You're out of induction and with one of Bradwell's greatest inventions in your hands. Anyway, head to the elevators in the security area. I've got elevators to check out myself. I'm going to write a children's book about this escapade when I retire from my career in tech. I'll reimagine you as a penguin, though. No offense, but you always need an animal in a children's book. Hey, just stepping into an elevator, but don't worry, our guides should still keep us connected. See you down in clean water and energy research. That's to make sure you're not sneaking in or taking out anything you shouldn't.
That's a recent photo, just Melissa and John. You can tell that they're still in mourning. I mean, who wouldn't be? Can't imagine what it must feel like to suddenly lose half your family. SMP detected. Removal of blueprints and substance from the substance mobile printer required to comply with the Bradwellian Conversancy Protocol. Please interact with the Bradwell Substance and Blueprint Reclamation System before access to... Ah, yes. Substance shortage. That's a thing, actually. Spoils all the fun. Okay, so... I'll see you in Water and Energy Research. Welcome to Clean Water and Energy Research, Dr. Sega. You've been space. Warning. Electrical shortages detected. Lifts have been taken offline for health and safety. Yeah, I noticed. Stupid elevator. Ugh. The freaking doors won't open. Ugh. You go ahead. See if you can find Dr. Chowdhury's office. Ugh. Want me to tell you the time? Okay, sure. It's time for us to get out of this facility. And... Oh, for this st stupid elevator door to open. Hey, I... I think... Oh, come on, doors. Yes, I'm out, finally. Phew. Okay, I'm gonna scout for a way to medical, and you say hello to Dr. Chowdhury. <laughs> Imagine, that'd be very awkward. You found a map! Awesome! So, I'm in the service hub in M2 at the moment. It's pretty cool seeing parts of this building I've never been to. Please wait here until Dr. Trowdry has returned to complete your induction. Yeah, if I were you, I'd have a snoop and see if you can find her guide. Our contracts are pretty clear about not removing Bradwell tech from the building. I'm clearly not a model employee. So Mira used to work with charities. That's pretty cool. I've never done anything that helps other people in a basic humanitarian sort of way. I want to change that, though. I've certainly never had someone make me a bespoke bit of furniture because of the work I've done. the rollout plan for the Clean Water Initiative, including Phase 2. Hmm. It looks like they're prioritizing major cities first. Weird. I'd have thought they'd focus on areas that are much poorer and more deprived. Hmm. This, this is all strange. Yeah, that's definitely all confidential stuff. And Melissa overseeing the Clean Water Initiative directly. That's... Very odd. Hey! I found a bunch of freight elevators in the maintenance section. Hang on. 
There. The bad news is, they aren't powered up, so we can't use them just yet. I'll look into it. In the meantime, you need to find a way to get to maintenance. Using the Bradwell voicemail system, your colleagues can leave you encrypted and secured messages that only you can access. For when you're too busy... Find the lift. Lift doesn't work. It's the Bradwell shuffle. One step forward, two steps back. Welcome back, Dr. Chowdhury. Your new Bradwell buddy, Dr. Alex Sager, is waiting for you in your office. Welcome to your daily meditation. A meditation that will help you unwind and enter a deep state of relaxation. Hey, I've managed to get into one of the power distribution control centers. It's not looking good. The facility generators aren't in great shape, so we need to find a way to get more power on the grid. Or we may be stuck here. Yeah, it's a pretty big place. That's why the guide shows you your current location. Photo bioreactor? Oh, please tell me it makes electricity. Can you start it up? Nice. Good to know I'm not the only one who still likes printouts. Is it me, or does it look like some of the units are missing? You know what? I'm just gonna choose to not be concerned about that. Hydrogen fuel cell. That would make hydrogen into electricity. Must be huge if it isn't allowed to be printed with substance. Ooh, something's happening. I got dialogue boxes popping up about systems initializing. I'll be honest, I don't really know much about photobioreactors, only that algae and sunlight is involved. Thank God it's the longest day of the year. Oh, it's using hydrogen-powered fuel cells. Those things are powerful. Amazing, really, when... Uh-oh. 
red pop-up boxes are never good. What the hell is happening? Are you okay? And now my screens have gone blank. Do you have any more details? Can you show me what's going on? Oh, that's not good. Not just one, but three problems. Huh. I, I passed some CO2 extraction equipment earlier, so I'll go check it out. You, however, need to look into the algae pod and pump room situation. If we can fix these, I'm pretty sure I can bridge the fuel cells into the main grid and power those service elevators. Happy birthday, Dr. Giller. Your colleagues have organized a surprise birthday party this afternoon. Please act surprised. Happy birthday, Ken. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick buzz. Okay, I'm at the CO2 extraction system. Obviously, it's not running, but I can't tell why. Because it does have power. Huh, let me try to figure this out. I wish I could figure out what you mean. Sorry. Water clarifiers, which are all filled with the waste of the past that is the drink of tomorrow. Ugh. Anyway, the pump room should be just on the other side. Have you found a way to get over there? locked, so we'll have to find you another way across. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna try something. Okay. Is one of the clarifier walkways rotating? Can you send me a photo? I need to know which one is moving. Nice! This might actually work! You'll have to send me the numbers of the walkways you need me to rotate. It's a bit of a hack. Each walkway seems to have multiple stopping positions, so you might have to try a few times. To help you cross the wastewater sea, I rotate for you, walkway three. Okay, same one again. My bag of tricks gets you number six.
Number eight, I shall rotate. Five, coming right up. One more time. Got it. Turning nine, not sure what to run. Uh-oh, something just short-circuited. I can't stop the walkway. You'll have to MacGyver your way through it. Everything's still attached. To you, I mean. Warning. Moisture detected. SMP function offline. Oh, yeah. About the SMP and water? Use of the SMP in water will result in burns, electric shocks, Numbness, skin lesions, hyperactivity, and hair loss. They kind of don't like each other. Or they like each other too much. One of the two. The CO2 filters! Ugh. They're super heavy. Need to look for some wheels. I found a shopping cart. Um, I found a shopping cart? Why would they have a... No overthinking, Amber. Eyes on the prize.
back at the CO2 extraction equipment. This could take a little while, but I think we're looking good. Water flow in pump room three restored. Pumps have been reactivated. Look at you, fixing it. Awesome. Now go get those algae pods installed. I'm nearly done with reconnecting the CO2 supply. Welcome back, Mr. Boyd. Don't forget to attend Dr. Giller's birthday celebrations. Guide, note to self. In future, when maintenance say the water shuts off by itself, make sure that also includes that they will empty the rest of the water out of the system before I start working on it. I've managed to block the floor drain with some substance pipe. Nice! Install algae pods, check. Who doesn't love a tick next to a list item? So beautiful. Good news! I fixed the CO2 supply and connected the hydrogen fuel cells to the main grid. You know what this means. We can try starting the reactor again. So stop whatever you're doing and head back to the photobioreactor control room. That startup button isn't going to push itself. Great. Here we go. All systems are looking good. Not seeing any red air boxes so far. Looks like our work here is done. Ugh, what now? Not again! No, fix the pipe! Fix the pipe, quick! <laughs> this stuff is getting into the <laughs> delation system. What? It can't. God, it... But how? Wait. The SMP, but... But I thought... This... This is very bad. Fuel cells fully charged. 
with power to clean water and energy research restored. Forget what you saw. We need to go. Head to the service elevators, now. I'm in one of the service elevators. Connection lost. Hey, you... you okay? No, that was... <sighs> anyway, we've made it to medical. Let's find the evac stations and get out of here. Welcome to the medical center. Emergency care on the ground floor. GP offices and observation rooms on the first floor. See the metaphorical ivory tower? Guess whose offices are up there? Starts with Mel and ends with Issa. Nice evac station. The one over here is super small and contains way more spiders than I really want. So, let's take a look at this. How do we make it go? Oh, great. Here's a surprise. Problems with pod tracks in the tunnels. Hang on, I'll show you. See the red lines? Those are broken track connections. And the orange one needs rerouting, otherwise I'll be stuck. Looks like you're right next to tunnel entrances, so congrats. You're in charge of track repairs. Wait, before you go, can you send me a photo of your pod? Oh, wow. Your pod looks like an all-you-can-eat buffet after lunch. All the good stuff is already taken. You know what? Let me worry about the spare parts for your pod. You just make sure to get the tracks all fixed up. No tracks, no pods, no exit. Mr. Payne, your medical records show that you've been ordered bed rest for the next two days. Okay, so I think the static printers in the evac stations, they customize the pods based on individual requirements of patients and staff. Once I've accessed the printers, I should be able to figure out which blueprint parts we need for your pod.
Um, how would you feel if the fate of our escape depends on a screwdriver? Asking for a friend. Anyway, how are you getting on? Everything okay? Screwdrivers, long live the butter knife. I should keep this in case there are other screws ahead. Or butter. These static printers, they aren't on the regular server system. I may be here a while. How's everything your end? Any luck with those tracks? I've got a list of the parts we need for your pod. First one is obvious, the lid section. Pretty darn crucial so you don't fall out. Second is the evac control unit, the pod's onboard computer. I'm gonna go look for them now. You stay on track. <laughs> oh, Amber. Yikes. Bad news. The static printers are a dead end for now. They can't connect to the blueprint storage server. Let's hope this just needs a good old turn it off and on again. Partial track connection re-established. Parts of the required tracks are still disconnected. Please continue the repair. Woohoo! One part of the tracks is connected up. According to the map, that's two more to go.
partial track connection re-established. Parts of the required tracks are still disconnected. Please continue the repair. Yes! Two parts of the track connected up. Just one more and we can get the heck out of here. Dr. Paletti, the latest NARIC study reports are ready for your review. Evac tracks have been repaired. Please consider immediate evacuation. Hey, I think I know how to find the blueprints for your pod, but I need your help. Go to the research wing, research lab two. Oh, and collect as much substance as you can. You'll need it. I'm still waiting in Research Lab 2, by the way. When you have a moment. Soon. Narek study, June 2026. No idea what Narek means or stands for. Saw drink, saw food, tab, IV. Oh, they were studying the best method for absorption of whatever Narek is by the human body. Yep, a control room. Anything interesting? Look around and then head to research lab too. Warning, this is a highly restricted area. Please leave immediately via a posted exit. You're finally here, good. See the big cylindrical apparatus? I think it's some kind of data storage node device. I want to find out what's on there. It, it might help us with the blueprints we need for your pod. To access the data, we have to set the device to diagnostic mode. And for that, you'll need this. 
It's a blueprint for a diagnostic module. You'll have to print copies around the node in specific slots. Hang on, I'll show you. There, you can see where to place the diagnostic modules. You'll also notice that some of the cooling tanks are positioned incorrectly. But don't sweat, I'll help with that. There's a mechanical arm on the node which I can control remotely. So, install the diagnostic modules and let me know which cooling tanks you want me to move where. Sure, let's see! And the robot arm goes to B with V. Hmm. I really want to know why this storage node is here of all places. You stuck? The photo I sent earlier should help. Also, not gonna lie, controlling this mechanical arm is kind of fun. Okay, we are now recording. It is... Um, bum. <sighs> it's Friday, the 4th of October. It's... Two... Okay, it's... The... 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 Guide time and date, please. The time is...
No problem? I'll send it to D. No problem. Robot Arm H is your next target. G. Acknowledged. Moving now. Did you hear that, robot arm? Go to F. Off to E! E for exit, where we are trying to go. Delivering to D. Come on, you got this. We got this. Once the diagnostic nodes and cooling tanks are positioned correctly, I should be able to access its data and find the blueprints. And then we can get out of here. Sorry, want to help, but unsure what you're trying to say.
There's one cooling tank too many. Maybe a thing to think about? Okay, I'll take the arm to E. H it is. Hey, robot arm, this is your coming to H story. <laughs> G forces in action. No problem. Go on, robot arm. Off to A you go. Going G. No problem. Robot arm H is your next target. G forces in action. H it is. The goal post of letters. No problem. Go on, robot arm. Off to A you go. Diagnostic modules operational. Yes, awesome. Accessing the core. Caution. Equus test mode opening. Wait, what? Equus, that makes... Warning. Cooling tanks depleted. Approximately 30 seconds until core overheats and destabilizes. No, 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 no! Oh, come on. Come on! Warning. Core stability at 70%. Please, not now. Not when... Yes! Got a location for the evac pod lid blueprint. Just need one for the control unit. Warning. Core stability at 50%. No, don't do this to... Found it. Evac control unit blueprint is on Melissa Bradwell's computer. Oh, for Pete's sake, how are we supposed to get in there? Warning. Core stability at 15%. Wait, no, I just need to... Wow, this data core is extremely powerful. It's... Warning. Core stability at 5%. Okay, okay, I've got what we need. Warning. Core stability at 2%. The core! Reclaim the core! Now! Warning. Core stability at 1%. Auto shutdown activated. Phew. Well, that was close. Core restabilization initiated. Anyway, you need to get into the tower and find the evac control unit on Melissa Bradwell's computer. Oh, one sec. During my data search, I came across this image. It kind of looks important. Good luck breaking into Melissa's office. I'll go and fetch the evac pod lid from... the biohazard section. Oh, man. Universe. Amber here, looking for a break to catch. Please don't hate me, but I'm not sure what you mean.
Welcome back, Dr. Malcolmson. You have one urgent message from John Bradwell. Playing now. Kevin, it's me. I took a look at the documents you sent me. Melissa is refusing to see sense. I... Look, I've given you temporary access to the house. Now come as soon as you can. It won't have long before they ferry me up to the service for the museum party tonight. That was... that was John Bradwell. Oh, refusing to see sense. What did he mean? Anyway, you have access to Bradwell's private wing now. Maybe you can get into the tower from there. Narek testing suite. Hmm. I don't like this. I'm actually the bearer of good news this time. I recovered the evac pod lid blueprint from the biohazard section, sending now. I'll head back to the evac station and run a full system check. I am so done with surprises for today. Oh, it's so beautiful. And their house. You have to go in and show me everything. That's a recent photo, just Melissa and John. You can tell that they're still in mourning. I mean, who wouldn't be? Can't imagine what it must feel like to suddenly lose half your family. Sleek and cold. I expected nothing less from Melissa's place. Swift exit, huh? She means needing to leave the solstice celebrations early, right? Or maybe... I don't know. Strange. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, she's... She seems to be in charge of John's life now. Look, just... Just focus on getting into the tower. We need that blueprint from Melissa's computer. John Bradwell's wheelchair. I've heard rumors that he doesn't like using it. Ten years on. That newspaper's from last summer. If I had to guess, looks like John was opening up some old wounds. Ugh, what happened was just so awful. Eliza Bradwell, a true hero of mine. You know, she got me interested in science and computing. Dad showed me an interview with her when I was really young. Eliza talked about how innovation can help us become better, more aware and conscious about our collective responsibilities, that it is our duty to work together and find solutions to help our planet, life, everything, become more sustainable. You could say it was a career-defining moment for me. Aww. Eliza and John on their wedding day. They look so content and happy. Fun fact, my parents got married after I was born, so it made the whole paperwork for moving from Scotland to America thing easier. So I'm there in their wedding photos as a grumpy looking potato baby. Guide communications are disabled in this area of the facility. Goodbye!
Good evening, Mr. Bradwell. According to the schedule, you should be at your London residence as requested by Melissa Bradwell. Melissa, please. You're making a huge mistake. I beg you. I know... Melissa, please. You're making a huge mistake. Thank God! Oh, I've been watching my guide for you to come back online. How did it go? Did you find the evac blueprint? Evac control unit blueprint was successfully installed. Wow, guide! How nice of you to finally show up to the Let's Be Helpful party! Tracks are operational, so it's just your pod that needs fixing now. Pod 034 has been assembled for departure. 
Please use the pod to commence evacuation procedure. We made it! Let's get out of here! Welcome aboard the Bradwell evac system. Please relax and enjoy your journey. SMP detected. All blueprints and substance units have been removed. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. Today was a disaster. I know I wouldn't have been able to get through it without you. I can see your face! So glad you have one. <sighs> Only minutes away from freedom. Finally. Don't relax too much, Amber. Melissa? I was wondering when you'd finally show up. Look at the mess you've caused. I... I... Lost for words. Or are you mute like your friend? Do they know what you did? Hacking into my accounts? Stealing files about my project? Thinking you could hide your research on how to generate Bradwellian? You knew? We knew someone was hacking our systems. So we planted a little disinformation and a trail of breadcrumbs to lead back to your secrets. Right. Of course you did. Look, Melissa, I don't get everything about what you're planning, but I know you're setting up some kind of massive system to what? Do surveillance on vast numbers of people? That's unconscionable. Is it? I'm comfortable with my moral compass. How about you? Did you tell your new friend you were responsible for the explosion? No, I mean, I... I... Thought as much. You've done enough. Security will be with you shortly. Melissa? Melissa! Damn. She's right. I did it so many people in danger and I nearly killed you. I didn't mean to though. It was an accident while well, I was trying to expose what she's up to. I'm... I'm so sorry. I wanted to tell you, but I... Approaching scheduled maintenance stop. Please stay in the evacuation pods until help has arrived. Look, I know you've got no reason to trust me, but I promise I am not the bad guy here. At least, I didn't mean to be. And I'm telling you, it's not safe here for either of us. You need to get out of the pod now. Please. For your own safety, please do not attempt to leave the tunnel section until help has arrived. Damn, Melissa, this whole damn place. <sighs> are... are you okay? I guess you want to know the whole truth. I owe you that much, at least. The project Melissa was talking about is this thing called Equus, an intelligent surveillance system. Equus is supposed to be a beast, able to analyze and cross-reference data streams in milliseconds. Data like that, if it was sold to the highest bidders, would mean the end of privacy for, I don't know, millions of people. Connection to guide network lost. All communications interrupted.
Guide network connection re-established. You're back. Good. There are strong interferences with the guide network. Huh. So, I was telling you about Equus. Turned out the only thing stopping the project's progress was not enough substance. This stuff isn't like anything else on Earth. You can't just mix existing elements to create it. I discovered a way. It, it was like a miracle. But once I found out how they were going to use it to spy on everyone, I knew I didn't want any part of it. No human on this Earth can be trusted with that kind of power. Especially not Melissa. So I hid the research. But as she just explained, she was on to me. She made me think she'd found a whole other source instead of what I'd discovered and that she could go ahead with her plans. So I panicked and prepared my escape. Didn't go quite according to plan. A failsafe wasn't safe. It failed. I tried to do the right thing and I ended up doing this. Oh, wow. Bradwellium origin chamber. We're much deeper than I thought. Means we can't just walk to the surface. At least they all made it out alive. This has been unbearable, thinking we might come across a casualty. I couldn't stand it. Look, I understand you must be angry and disappointed. I mean, I would be. Bet you never imagined you'd end up here with me. If it wasn't for that stupid door in the museum. It's just kind of spiraled out of control. I... I'm sorry. I truly am. Oh. My. God! I found it! You have to this. Connection to guide network lost. Network reestablished. Hey, is that you? Are you okay? Please be okay. Look what you've literally stumbled on. Freaking Equus. The whole thing. The same nodes we saw in medical, but so much bigger. This. This is our chance. We can stop Melissa and her insane surveillance project. We already know how these nodes work from medical. We can shut them down. Okay. We need to power up the system to disable the nodes, but I don't have the correct permissions. Hang on! You can! You have John Bradwell's guide! See the holographic Bradwell logo? That's where the main console is. Go there and bring the system online. Equus surveillance system. Nodes London, Manchester, and Glasgow are online. Oh my gosh! Equus is already operational! Calibrating neural uplink data streams. These voices must be surveillance recordings? What? That's, that's me. It must be capturing my guide feed. Wait. What the fuck? It's, it's in my fucking head. My thoughts. It's recording my thoughts. Are you seeing this? Equus is neural. It's in people's minds. 
into diagnostic mode. Guide? Diagnostic mode unavailable. Data beam mirror missing. Please check lower platform. Go to the lower platform now! This is crazy. Okay. The diagnostic devices you used in medical won't work. Looks like these nodes communicate with the main system using a laser instead. As the guide mentioned, the mirror controlling the laser is missing. You have to find and install it. Ooh, it's moving. Okay, let's just go straight to node one and work up from there. Huh, weird. I still can't get a diagnostic connection to the node. Guide? Control blades have been removed from the node's control server. Please insert blades to continue. Yeah, what he said. Probably the control server the guide's been talking about. Open it and take a look. Cool. This shows you in which slots to install the control blades. Nice! Control system activated. Diagnostic link established. Yes, you did it! Okay, on the monitor there should be an authentication code. Send it to me. Awesome! I think that's it. Authenticating. Caution. Node 1. Now opening. Warning. Core protection protocol activated. 30 seconds until node closes. Warning, 20 seconds until node closes. Awesome, node one core reclaimed, off to node two. I just noticed, the fourth node, node A, it's not showing up in the system. Very strange. I'll investigate, you keep on heading to node two. Oh, hello. I can sync the controls to my tablet. That'll make life a bit easier. I'm gonna go and check the control blades for node three. You keep focused on node two. See you down there. Authorization done. Core is opening. Warning. Core protection protocol activated. 30 seconds until node closes. Warning. 20 seconds until node closes. Warning. 10 seconds until node closes. Warning. Five seconds. Yes. Oh, wait. The laser... Wait. I think I see the crane controls. Hang on. Ah, nice. Whoever labeled the crane controls, you're my hero. Yes! It moves! The crane moves! No! It stopped! Why? The controls. No response. Let me look around. Power supply to crane interrupted. Hmm. This is gonna sound very much like been there, done that. But can you see a power distribution board somewhere? I think it's a blown fuse. Power supply to crane restored. Yes! Nice. You zapped the crane back to life. Okay, this should do the trick. And obstacle cleared.
Send me a photo of Node 3 when you're ready, and I'll open it up. Okay, Node is opening. Go, go, go! Warning. Awesome, that's Node 3 done. What's your trauma, Node A? Why are you not showing up in the system? Oh, hello. Node A just popped up as active. That's pressing random buttons for you. This is the mysterious fourth node, node A. I wonder why there's no reference in the system. Could be an early model, maybe, like A for Alpha? Um, let's hope you'll find some fuel cells then. Keep looking around, I guess. Fuel cells installed. Node A operational. Aquas version 2.0. STEM node online. Alrighty, go get that core. Okay, cool. And core is opening. Alrighty, go get that core. Warning. Core protection protocol activated. 30 seconds until node closes. Warning. 20 seconds until node closes. Warning. 20 seconds until node closes. Atlas version 2.0 initialized. What? But you... you took the core. San Francisco. Washington, D.C. New York. No! Oh God! Zurich, Baghdad. Mumbai. Hong Kong. Singapore, Sydney, Los Angeles, Sao Paulo, Lagos, Cape Town, Cairo, Moscow, Dubai, Tokyo. Shit! These are all the cities for the Clean Water Initiative! Melissa, she's using the Clean Water Initiative to expand Equus across the whole world. Equus, version 2.0, status at 90%. 20 nodes required for completion. We're in luck. The upgrade is not operational yet. But there's no way we can reclaim all these cores. Go back to the Equus console. We need to find out where Melissa is right now and stop her. Connection to Equus interface established. Okay, good. Locate Melissa Bradwell. Locating Melissa Bradwell. Melissa Bradwell located. Neural link with NARAC interface established. Receiving audio visual data stream. Fleur, is everything in place? Yes, we've just finished calibrating the emitters as per the instructions you gave us. Good. Proceed with phase two immediately. We've lost too much time already. Of course, Miss Bradwell. Have Amber and her guests been intercepted yet? Not yet. They seemed to. I don't care about excuses. I just want them found. Yes, Miss. Keep me updated. I've more pressing matters to deal with. End of audio visual data stream. That's where substance was originally found. I've spent the last six months working in those caves. That's where we need to go. Oh, look! The door at the end of the walkway of Node 2. It just came online. Go and see where it leads.
I'm gonna head back to the control center. Fingers crossed I'll find a way down to the caves from there. Warning. Five seconds until node closes. Warning. Ten seconds until node closes. Where are you? That hall is huge. I expected an elevator lobby or maybe a set of stairs, but not this. Connection to guide network lost. Network reestablished. Hey, I'm here. Oh, shitting. Wonderbass, this one's huge. Wow. And look at the substance. Incredible. I can't believe it worked. But, like this, why the hell did Melissa have to ruin this? We could have learned so much. Damn it. See these four emitters? The supersized SMPs? They're the only thing keeping this. Um, 
giant floating orb stable. Let's look around. There's gotta be a way of disabling the emitters. No orb means no substance, means no evil mind-reading machine. No way, sweet muscular Moses. I think there's a mining laser on this excavator. These things are super powerful, exactly what we need. If I can just get the excavator to... Man, it's broken? Really? Hmm, possible idea. Yes, the laser is still operational. Okay, see the blue light? That's the guiding laser. Don't worry, it's totally harmless. Until I hit the fire button. You still have the mirror thing from Equus, right? Now, print the mirror so it reflects the laser to the big fuel cell across from me. Once you're done, send me a photo and I'll fire the laser. It'll light that fuel cell up like Red State America on the 4th of July. Nice. Laser is pointing right at the fuel cell. Awesome work. Okay, getting ready to fire. Caution. You must enter the marked safety zone before firing can commence. Oh yes, good idea. Go to the safety zone. Let's not add death by explosion to your list of injuries. Incoming connection. Amber, there you are. Guy, disconnect Melissa Bradwell. Nope, don't want to listen to her justifications. Ready to take out the first cell? Okay, looks good. Fire! Whoa! Exploding fuel cells are not kidding around. But look, it worked! First emitter down! And we got away unsmashed. No, 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 Amber, stop jinxing things. Rotten anchovies, that was close. Wow, look. Look at the substance flowing from the broken silo. Wait, all these silos contain substance. I'm gonna need to open them all up. In the meantime, Line up the laser for fuel cell number two. Laser locked and loaded. I'll fire as soon as you're in the safety zone. And fire! Awesome! I think it's working. The orb is becoming more unstable. It should close when we shut down the other two emitters. Set up the laser for the next cell. That's the last of the silos. Incoming connection. Amber, stop what you're doing at once. You're not seeing the big picture. The big picture? You mean selling access to people's thoughts to make a killer profit? I get why you think that. But money isn't the primary objective. Never was. 
No one knows what's true anymore. There are too many lies and too many people ready to believe them. Something needs to change. Equus will mean that people can't lie anymore. When we know everyone's honest thoughts, we'll all have access to the truth. Always. You're taking people's privacy, their thoughts, without their knowledge or consent. Yes, guilty. But it'll be It's killing itself because we don't trust each other. Something has to change. People will get it when they see how much better it is. I hoped you'd see that. Oh, shut up, Melissa! Guide block Melissa Bradwell. Melissa Bradwell, blocked. I'm downgrading her from evil to kinda crazy, but either way, I don't wanna listen to it. There must be a way to reach cell 3 with the substance you've got. Damn! Wait, did you hear my subconscious being smart? The dam! There's a narrow gap at the top of the dam. The laser should sail on through. Is there an easier way of opening these silos? The silos are currently in use and cannot be opened automatically. They can be opened manually via emergency release valves. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Do you want to report an emergency and alert the next available Bradwell representative? No, 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 no. For the love of my respiratory system, no. Everything is awesome. No emergency here. Nothing to report. I've got it covered. Good job guiding the laser up there. Now go to safety. I'm ready to fire. This silo is moving. Please don't move. Not when I'm on top. Ah, crap! It's falling over and really fast! Oh, no! Not the tablet! I need the tablet! No! <sighs> Breathe, Amber. Breathe. Okay. 
We're both still alive. That's good. This staying alive business has gotten a lot harder lately. Now, how do we take out the last cell? Any ideas? I have an idea. The crane. This could totally work. Give me a sec. I just need to get the crane close to you so you can print a mirror on its platform. And then I should be able to line up the laser beam with cell number four. Ugh. Crane set to remote control. Switch to manual control on main console. All the substance has been freed. Just need to close the orb. This crane is responding. I'm gonna move the platform up to the building. Meet me outside and get ready to print. The crane is moving, the crane is moving! And too close to the orb. Okay, you should be able to print on the platform now. Great, now let's see if I can line the mirror up with... Wait, I can't fire the laser. I lost the tablet earlier. Shh. You have to do it. Go back inside. There must be a way to fire the laser. Quick! Warning. Unstable atmospheric conditions detected. Ceiling control center. Wait, what? Stop. Stop this right now. What are you doing? Shit, she's back. Fire the laser, quick! Don't do it. Don't listen to Amber. Do not fire the laser. Come on, fire the laser! We need to end this! We need to stop her! Amber, you have no idea what you're doing. Move the crane at once. Like hell I will! Are you willing to destroy everything Brad Wellian could do for humanity? For humanity? You're gonna use it against humanity! No! I'm trying to protect- Will you please fire the damn laser? Don't! We will all die! She's lying! Do it!